Hey YouTube, this is Jen, your pudgy picker. Got another thrift haul for you. I actually went to two different places. They're actually, um, I believe, a Savers, but they're called around here Unique Thrift Store. So I went to one by my house, and then I dropped the kids at school and went to one by their school. So second place was pretty picked over because they open at 7 a.m. on Mondays, which is their half price day. So enough talking about it. Oh, let me show you what I got. I got um, some playing cards. I use these to make uh, hang tags for my antique booth. I got a Vera Bradley purse for $2 because everything's half of what you see. Um, it isn't too bad. The bottom looks nice and the uh, handles look nice. Especially Vera Bradley bags, that's where they start to wear first. This one looks like it is either handmade or it just doesn't have a, a tag in it. It is an Ohio State quilted purse. It was $2. Um, it's a little filthy, so it's going to have to be washed. But since we live in Ohio, a lot of people like the Ohio State stuff. You can tell it's a pretty decent sized bag and a pretty decent price. Got another glass pitcher. Um, save this one until uh, next summer. That was only two. It is glass. Um, not sure how these are going to do. Um, these, the bean bag fill, they're like little plastic pellets. They are not cheap if you buy them in a craft store. So there's three new bags in each of these bags. So essentially they were a quarter a piece because it was $1.49, then it was $0.75, cents, and there's three. So not too bad. We'll see how those go. Um, I got a little owl planter. Isn't he cute? He was only a buck. Got this real cute box that needs a lot of cleaning up, but it's carved. It's a vintage -y one. You can tell by the inside. Um, I actually I don't think this is vintage because it has a Marshalls tag on it. Now I look at it closer. So that was $2.50. I'll clean that up. It'll look like a million bucks once it's done. Um, I got some Party Light votive uh, candles. I have a small votive burner in my kitchen. So I picked those up. That's a dollar. Got another ice cube tray, brand new. I don't like to buy a lot of the used plastics, but still in the package, I can work with that. I got this cool magnet pad to go on the side of my fridge for grocery list. It was a dollar. Got this cute little red sign that says, love you more. And a lot of times you turn these over and it has a message. No, really, love you more. <laughs> That was $1.50. Um, got these to sell on probably eBay. They are two counted cross stitch Ziggy pattern books. And there's a whole bunch in here too. Let me see. Yeah, so I think these were probably like 15 cents. I think they're 29 cents for magazines, which is what these uh, are under that category. And then they were half price. Got this real pretty picture. It's not old or particularly, um, you know, I don't know, special, I guess you could say. It says, in this home, may love abide and bless all those who step inside. That was $2.50, but it's nice. So I got that. Um, I did get this interesting piece. This was $5.00. And tell me, this is an ashtray, correct? I mean, everybody smoked back in the 60s, but there's no markings on this, but it has President and Mrs. John F. Kennedy. And with that was a salt and pepper shaker. So I'm going to do some research on these, see if I'm going to sell them in my antique booth or if they're going to actually uh, go online. Haven't uh, decided on that yet. And look who's here. It's Pixel. Say hello. 
Okay, <laughs> too close. <laughs> uh, got a few more um, sets of salt and pepper shakers. It was a dollar. These were all in a bag. Aren't these interesting? These are like little blue pyramids. And my son said, well, how do you know one's salt and one's pepper? That one has two holes. This one has four holes. So the one that has less holes, this one has more holes, so this is for pepper. Got it? Just in case you didn't know. Um, these are really cute. There's actually two little sets of these, salt and pepper. They say made in Japan. Maybe I'll focus, maybe not. Three out of four have a plug. This one does not. So I'll price those accordingly. And the other items that I did really good on today was fabric. Um, I always check the fabric section. It's right by where they have the furniture. Usually everybody grabs the cart and runs back to the furniture. And I pretty much clean this out. And a couple other ladies are like, oh, do you sew? <laughs> so I think I beat them to the punch. So these are all like a cotton or a cotton mix. Got some red. That was 50 cents. Pink, 50 cents. This one's pretty, isn't that pretty? With the teal and the brown. That one was 50 cents. This one is a little kid fabric. And that one was 50 cents. Striped one, 50 cents. Got some plain blue for a dollar. There's a decent amount of this red for a dollar 50. Got this one with the little tweeze on it. For 50 cents. Another pink one for 50 cents. This one has a lot. There's at least four or five yards on this. And it was two. Another one with trees with the red background. That one was a dollar. Then these two smaller pieces, they're so pretty. I love that green. 50 cents. And this one is also 50 cents. Nice, aren't they pretty? So, like I said, did good on the fabric. So that is all I picked up this day on Monday. So if you could, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please uh, follow me on Twitter under The Pudgy Picker. And I'm a little bit behind on my sales videos, but I'm going to be taking care of that this week. It's been really busy. And I apologize I'm slow, but I will, will get it done. So that's all I got. Hopefully see you next time. Put some videos out. Show me what you're finding late in the season. Now that I've turned to thrifting, it's kind of a, a shock money-wise going from garage sale prices to thrift store prices. But we'll keep plugging along. And I will see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.